Hi everyone, welcome to a video where I've been given a little bit of an early look at a trailer and I know I don't normally talk about trailers but this is a game that I am very very excited about kind of because of just the way it looks and it, its approach to the pixel art art style and you know I love pixel art but this game it's just revealed basically what proper gameplay is gonna look like and I want to look at this trailer with you and analyze a few of the aspects, have a closer, proper look at certain things, and just enjoy and appreciate the art that is there. And also maybe get a little bit into the gameplay that we can see. Anyway, the game is called Songs of Conquest. Songs of Conquest is a pixel art 4X strategy game that's reminiscent of the old... 4X strategy games like this, fantasy ones. For example, Heroes of Might and Magic and Age of Wonders. And it really does give those early Heroes of Might and Magic and Age of Wonders vibes. And it, it just looks so, so good. Anyway, let's have a look at the trailer in its entirety. And we can just have a look at what there is. And it just starts out so fantastically, looking at these dark scenes and the characters and the environments and how they've been painted with a mix of pixel art and also this painterly style with all of these new modern effects, which is really starting to take off, but I find Songs of Conquest to actually just nail the style. Anyway, this is the first time we're seeing things like actual UI, dialogue, inventory management, all, all sorts of things like that. Base building, you see this? That's actually very important. Here is combat. Now, combat we've seen nothing of before this, and it, it's it's tactical. It's tactical combat on hexes, which is very Heroes of Might and Magic, isn't it? And here's inventory management. It's great on the heroes. And it just looks so nice. <laughs> Leveling up. Yes, spells and abilities. Yes, ah, combat. Abilities. Magic. Explosions. Yes, Songs of Conquest. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, and it's coming early 2022, and you can go check that out. It says it's coming to GOG, Steam, and the Epic Games Store, so hopefully it does actually release on all three of those at the same time. It should, since it's sort of saying that. Uh, but anyway, looking at some of these scenes, you can actually just, first of all, I'm gonna say it one more time, just appreciate the art. There is a lot of, every time I mention pixel art or show off pixel art games, there's always the discussion where, oh, the, the developers just use pixel art because they're lazy or they didn't have the budget. And I hope, I hope this game puts to rest. I mean, there's some really nice looking uh, pixel art games out there. Tooth and Tail is one, just off the top of my head. But I hope this one really puts the nail in that coffin, the last final nail in that coffin, that pixel art is a lazy or ugly or uh, budget art style. Because it's just an art style. It's like pointillism, micro mosaics, um, crochet, you know, it's an art style. And here we can see it executed in a video game form. What I would actually put as maybe, as in, in my knowledge, the best execution of pixel art. Also, one thing I do want to sort of just focus on is the character designs. Now, some of the animations, I have to say, look a little stiff, but this this is still early. This is still a good, well, maybe a year before release. Uh, it says early 2022. Right now we're mid-2021. Uh, considering some possible delays, we're, we're probably 8 to 12 months from release here. Uh, some of the animations do look a little stiff, I'm gonna say. Um, but the character designs look phenomenal, I think. There's so much detail in them, and yet they're still so recognizable. I think they do play with the scale of the characters on the world map quite a bit. Some, some characters, sometimes things look a little too big, but I'm not gonna nitpick on those little things right now. Um, but if you look at the monster designs, because there's four factions in this game, and I'll, I'll go over them in a bit, but the monster designs are so detailed and intricate and interesting. The skeleton thing with the multiple legs, scorpion with, a, I don't know, a, a, a gravestone on its back? Uh, or the glowing monster suits of haunted armor things? <laughs> it, it just looks so interesting. And usually in uh, a lot of 
fantasy stuff, the execution of character designs can be rather generic or they're just so strange you don't really relate to them anymore. And I actually really love the character designs in this. Now, uh, looking at some of the UI, UI is not a pixel art, it has to be said. There, there are, th this is not an entirely pixel art game. It is a modern game that's using the pixel art style for the gameplay. But the UI is not pixel art, and I think that's a very good choice. You can see the UI actually very clear. And one thing they were showing off on Twitter I saw was this modifier summary on the uh, character inventory and equipment screens. Uh, as you equip things, you don't have to actually just see the... The, your final stats, it actually shows you the modifier summary of all your stats put together from the things you're putting on and stuff. And I think that's actually just a nice little bit of UI information enhancement thing. That, that's a nice touch. Obviously, we, we're not seeing the full UI here. Uh, the positioning of units before battle. We can see there's withdraw, quick battle, manual battle on your placement phase of the com combat. A typical 4X engagement anyway and i what but though for the battles themselves i do actually really like that there is verticality to it you can see at least uh, there's one two three four height tiers that we can see from this video uh i i think that's the highest we can see here we don't know whether it goes higher or if possibly lower but it goes up at least well, there are at least four tiers of height on the height map for the the hex tactical arenas um, which by the way also look really nice right i mean it's sort of continuing that that pixely painterly art style through everything and it looks different it like but it doesn't just look it, it looks the same but it doesn't just look zoomed in like the art on the actual battle tiles and the battle arenas it, it looks like you've actually gone closer to the ground rather than it's just scaling up textures or something like that, right? Uh, anyway, for an overview of the game outside of this trailer, in case you haven't heard of it before, uh, their words here are Songs of Conquest is a turn-based strategy game inspired by 90s classics. It lead powerful magicians called wielders and venture to lands unknown. Wage battles against armies that dare oppose you and hunt for powerful artifacts. The world is ripe for the taking, seize it. And in case you're wondering, the name Songs of Conquest is because there are four factions which each will have their own song, which is their... Uh, their bard's tale, you could say, of their conquest journey. They're calling it a choral campaign. And you follow the songs to uh, as you go through each of the campaigns, and at the end you unlock the full song, which is a nice approach to it. Anyway, the four factions, which of course will be at odds with each other, are the Arleon, the Baria, the Rana, and Barony of Loth. Just a quick overview of these four factions. Arleon is the remnants of an empire now broken up into warring baronies. The strong will rise and the weak are forgotten. Knights are joined in an uneasy accord with fey, magical creatures of the deep wood, but even fear of the fey will not stop peasant rebellions. In Arleon, order is enforced with a sharp axe. So Arleon is sort of this rule by iron fist will domination sort of faction which is a mix of what seems to be humans and fey creatures the next faction is the baria they threw off the chains of the empire and allied with harima to form independent merchant states now contracts are law and anyone humans or harima can rise by their deals and their deeds the art of the tinkerers keeps them one step ahead of their enemies and their sound of the hell breath brings terror to all so they also seem somewhat like the the, the, the opposite side of the same coin to the arleon they broke from the empire and focusing more on the merchanty stuff uh, to sort of sustain their independence the next faction are the Rana, swamp dwellers who are scattered by their enemies and at times enslaved, but a mysterious wielder has risen, uniting the folk of the marsh to rediscover their true strength. Vicious ravagers, wise Chelun, and even the secretive Ethdra 
All will come to the wielder's call, and the world will tremble to hear them roar. Now, they're the swamp lizard folk, and, you know, when, when I was playing Age of Wonders 1 especially, uh, I always liked the lizard folk, and th that's sort of extended also by, like, for example, the Argonians in, in the Elder Scrolls lore, where they come from the Black Marsh and all of that, and I... I I do like the approach to lizard people in, in this way. <laughs> um, now, the final uh, faction here, which at first glance, it's pretty much the undead faction, right? You, you can't have a classic fantasy game without the undead and lots of skeletons. Now, the Barony of Loth. Loth is a declining barony, embracing the promise of the Unseen Society to bring back the glorious days of peace and empire. Cultists and scholars excavate old battle sites for arcane artifacts and call the Oathbound Legions to serve once more. Loth will rise to its former glory, even if it means bringing back the dead. So those are the four factions, and they are pretty diverse. And one nice thing, it's it's sort of like the character designs from before, where it is sort of, you know, familiar in many ways. You know, lizard people, skeletal undeads, but the, the story behind them and the designs of the characters and the designs of the factions themselves do feel pretty unique. So it, it's not just taking Heroes of Might and Magic or Age of Wonders or any other fantasy setting and just copying it or just tweaking a few things and then making it oh yeah this is a new game it actually does feel like there's quite a lot of originality to it which i do appreciate now obviously i have to say i haven't played the game so i don't know if all of this is gonna be as good as i'm seeing or as good as they're showing uh, but i'm liking what we're seeing so far and i just want to make that clear right about here <laughs> Also, just a little bit of a focus on that building an empire, a bit of b building up your actual city base thing. The word on it is you will manage resources, uh, research new advancements and expand your kingdom by planning your town to match your playstyle. You'll be able to utilize brute force magic or a mix of both, as the game does promise many paths to world domination. Also, I should mention that there is going to be an in-game level editor. So as this game releases, there will be ways for you to create your own maps, your own stories and adventures, campaigns and skirmish maps alike, because you, you'll be able to script in-game events, control the soundtrack, write dialogue, and be able to share your creations with others. So that's always nice. You, you you do want games like this to have that creator aspect to it to allow people to to design their own stories and stuff because you can only create so much content uh, right off the bat like that. Anyway, that that's pretty much what we've seen from Songs of Conquest so far, and I I, I just wanted to talk about Songs of Conquest, and I'm I'm waiting to be able to play it myself, and then I can really show you what gameplay is like. But this is the most we've seen so far. They've only just revealed this trailer, and it's looking good. Like I I was actually concerned about a number of things, particularly how combat was gonna work, whether they're gonna just use an old school style or whether they're gonna do something new. And I I think this works out quite well. And Actually, visually, the, the battle arenas, the, the combat tiles, that actually surprised me at how good those look. Because I, I already... We, we kind of knew how the, the gameplay overview looked. Uh, but uh, that, that, that actually looks... Like, it's different, but it's more. Like, it, it's just seeing more, but also beautiful things. So yeah, that's Songs of Conquest, a kind of 4X strategy RPG game with this phenomenal art style and e even if the, like I'm actually gonna say this even if the gameplay turns out to be not great it's gonna be a great game to just look at um, and I, I, I do wonder uh, if any of you watching this hated pixel art like 
hated all kinds of pixel art and you thought it was just universally bad. After seeing Songs of Conquest, do you still think it's bad? Or do you, are you actually like, oh, actually, no, this looks kind of nice. Like, maybe it's the usage of modern lighting effects or, or um, post-processing or, or any of the modern effects you see in this game. But the pixel art style is treated with that stuff and it's used as a style, not as a crutch. And I do wonder if this game will actually change any minds in terms of the art style. For those of you who do like the art style, now that you can see more of it, do you st like... Are you excited? I, do you, do you want to see more of it? I, I actually want to see more of it. <laughs> uh, well, I can't wait. And oh, please, please live up to expectations. It, it's one thing to think something's going to be bad and then it turns out good and then it's like, oh, that's actually amazing, yay. But we expect this to be good. And if it's even better than we can expect, that will be fantastic. Anyway, my name's been Gamer Zach. I hope you enjoyed this little focus on Songs of Conquest today. As you can see from the buttons on the screen right now, you can check out some of my other videos and us playing other games, including pixel art games and non-pixel art games, uh, in the meantime while waiting for Songs of Conquest. Alright, that's going to be all for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video.